So this question is a simplify question. We know that because the question is short, simplified questions are typically one to three lines long and will contain either an expression or equation. So in this case, we have an equation provided. I also take a peek down at the answer choices and I see that all of these answer choices are in this format, right? X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four AC all over two A, otherwise known as the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula. So, or quadratic equation, sorry. So what we see here is if I can get 3x squared minus 7x minus 1 equals 0 into this state, into this state, I'm going to find my answer. So 3, in this case, is the a, negative 7 is my b, and negative 1 is my c value. Hopefully you understand why that is the case. So all that's left for me to do is to plug these numbers into this quadratic equation. So if x equals negative b, we'll make that a positive 7 plus or minus the square root. b squared is negative 7 squared, or negative 7 times negative 7, which is 49, minus 4 times a, which was 3, times c, which is negative 1, all over 2a, or 2 times 3, which is 6. So if I continue to simplify this, I have 7 plus or minus the square root, and 4, let's use a different color, uh, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, times negative 1 is positive 12, making this whole thing become a positive 12. So 49 plus 12, uh, this is the non-calculator section, so you could, you know, I don't want to just do it in my head. So let's just make sure of things. So 49 plus 12, 9 plus 2 is 11, and that makes this 61. So I end up with a 61 under the radical. Oops. There we go, 61 under the radical, and I still have a 6 on the bottom. I cannot simplify that any further. 61 is a prime number, so I cannot reduce radical 61. I look at my answer choices, and I see that the answer choice that matches this is choice B, right? X equals 7 plus or minus square root 61 all over 6. So again, the key to understanding this question came from knowing that we need to go to here to the quadratic equation. The answer choices are, you know, gave us the hint that we need to do that. And even if you didn't immediately look there, we could just say, hey, I just need to simplify this, right? So this is a, you know, a trinomial here. How can I simplify it? Hopefully you would have ended up, you know, with the quadratic equation as the method of simplification.